I was always thinking what I want to do. The time that I actually felt like, okay, I'm doing something was the time that people started to ask about my country when I was showing them the series of different stereotypes of people in Iran. Then people started to think, well, what is Iran? Where is Iran? Oh, actually people in Iran, they are not looking like all with turbans. I really want to go against it, but I really want to show people the real thing. Since I was in high school, I liked art in total, like um, doing like theater and this kind of stuff in school. And I remember the first time, I mean, the first time that I saw a camera was my dad, that he bought a Yashica. Uh, it was really amazing for me, like seeing how can you capture a moment. I remember it was for my 15th birthday or 14th birthday. I went to my dad and I was like, I want a camera. So they got me this camera. It was a cyber shot, shitty camera. Then everything was looking really digital comparing to what I was seeing from the Yashika, like touching the paper. And that was really like seeing the negatives for me. The first time that I saw the negative, I was like, oh my God, you can see the photo on the negative. Oh, this is amazing, how can you do that? I was like, oh, I didn't know what's, what's happening. Then I started to do photos, um, but it was, I didn't know anything about how to make a photo or what should I take photos. I was just in love with the concept of capturing the moment. One of my cousins, he was a photographer as well, and uh, I was learning from him and I was seeing him taking photographs. So I got inspired by, by him as well, and another cousin of my dad. They were taking photos like as a hobby and that's how like I got more, even more into it. And so I got this DSLR camera. I started to actually think about producing photographs. And at that moment for me, it started like the whole love of photography grew in this sense of trying to make an impact. Places without people are interesting. Yeah, why is that? I don't know, it gives a feeling of emptiness. It, it has a lot to say because, because you kind of can use your imagination about what, what's happening there, what people leave behind. I mean, this is, this is a place of death and it's a bunch of beton and ceramic on top of each other. finishing of my bachelor the last year, it was the time that I kind of understood what I want to do, like in this, the last two years. I knew that my favorite field of photography is documentary. And then I did my bachelor of photography about micro celebrities in Iran. I wasn't actually expecting to get the, the best prize of the photography in Berlin. I was super surprised. It was for me like, a big achievement. It gave me confidence to go on because I think it was really important for me that I was like, oh God, this is, this is something, like, this is nice. For me, photography is coming from my obsessions. For example, like, I had one series that uh, it was about how people are uh, isolated in themselves in cities and how they want to get out of the space. As soon as the plane starts to come down, people stand up, but you know that, like, takes 10 minutes for, for it to go and you have to just be like this. And people, so they wanted to get out of the space. Like they were like, ah, oh. and I was like, what, what, why people do this? And faces of people in that moment were really, for me, um, interesting. So I did this series of portraits of people in the moment that people want to get out of the train. So I, I understood that the best things that it comes up in my photography are 
the ones that they are actually obsessive for me and coming from my obsessions and everyday life, I think about them. It doesn't happen right away, one series. It never happened for me in one, one shot. It, it, the process is long for me. It's really long to get together all the photos. I'm really, really slow. I, a lot of people tell me in, in, in the, even in life, I'm really slow. But even when I'm walking, I'm slow. I, I look around so much. I, we have one word in Iran for that, sar behavo, means uh, like sar behavo is like somebody who always look at everywhere, like on the sky and walks like this. So in my process, in my creative process, it's like that as well. You can actually capture a piece of light and then you see it. Like how beautiful is that? It's awesome. The one advice that I would tell a person who wants to be a photographer would be make a piece with yourself about why are you producing an image first and then, then start to do photos.